Welcome to the Channel for Grace. Jaiko Bind will be live shortly. Book a tarot or astrology reading on our website, channelforgrace.guru, and check out our latest programs and classes. Please give us a share and a like, and we hope you enjoy the broadcast. Welcome to the Channel for Grace. Jaiko Bind will be live shortly. Book a tarot or astrology reading on our website, channelforgrace.guru, and check out our latest programs and classes. Please give us a share and a like, and we hope you enjoy the broadcast. Welcome to the Channel for Grace. Jaiko Bind will be live shortly. Book a tarot or astrology reading on our website, channelforgrace.guru, and check out our latest programs and classes. Please give us a share and a like. Satnam and welcome back to the channel. My name is Jai Gobind and this is your channel for Grace. Thank you guys so much for being here live. Thank you those of you that are watching the replay. We're going to talk today about the human design transit of this full moon in Capricorn happening tomorrow. So it's like 4.30 something a.m. Pacific time, 4, 5, 6, like 7 a.m. Eastern time. July 3rd. And so tomorrow I want to invite you all to our celebration of the full moon happening in our global community to join the global community. It is completely free and we host some amazing live events, <clears throat> one of them being a new and full moon ceremony. And so come join us. There's a link in the description of this video that gives you the information to create your account. You want to download the app onto your phone. The app is called Mighty Networks and our network is called Channel for Grace Global Community. And you can find it and join us because we're going to party tomorrow. I feel this full moon very, very strongly right now. And I'm also really excited for um, diving into the information all about human design. This full moon is actually a really, really powerful one. And I was looking at the chart and I was thinking, oh my God, this is so intense. It's There's a lot of energy focus in one area. So <clears throat> we're gonna jump into that in a second. Before we do, I do wanna ask if you are here watching this video, please give this video a thumbs up right now if you're watching live and if you're watching the replay, it will help to grow the channel and to bring more people to be exposed to the channel. Also make sure to subscribe, hit the notification bell so you get notified of when I go live and when I upload videos. And I usually go live, so you wanna make sure you're getting the notifications. I also post these events in the global community so you can RSVP to the events and add them to your calendar so you're always reminded that they will be coming up and happening. And I'm literally creating events all the time. <clears throat> so. I have a couple of awesome announcements to make. One, I recently created a new human design monthly newsletter where I go into the transit of the sun through the human design gates per astrological season. So our first season that we're covering is cancer season and the newsletter went out uh, a few days ago and I'm excited to announce that this week I am going to be doing a special offer for the type of 
human design reading that I offer, which is called Your Human Design Map, which is basically a booklet that I create, that I write out like manually for you individually based off of your human design. I tell you about your type, your strategy, your authority, your profile, your incarnation cross, your defined centers, your undefined centers. I also talk about your um, circuitry. So the defined channels, I go into those and the gates on of those channels and how you basically embody that energy within yourself and what it all means. And at the end, I also create a unique mantra for like uplifting your energy and living in your highest potential. And all of that is included in your human design map. So it's only 108 to get the human design map. It's not an actual like one-on-one reading. It's a PDF file that I create and send send to you. But the offer that I'm going to be doing and the offer is going to be good through for this whole week coming up. And if you get it now, I will include it in the offer, even though the offer is from the third through the seventh. Basically, if you purchase your human design map between today and July 7th, I am going to book, we're going to, we're going to do a personal 30 minute reading to actually go over it and to answer any questions that you have about your human design. So basically a free 30 minute session with me about your human design. So that will be available for anyone that purchases your human design map between now and Friday. And again, it's $108. So super affordable and really, really fun for me to do. So it's July 4th week. And we are having that offer for this week of the 4th of July. So go check that out. Um, I should probably post the link, but you can go to my website, channelforgrace.com under book a reading, look for your human design map. I think it might be even the first one available. And then you, you go to the booking page through the link on the website. So super excited about that. Um, I'm also going to be doing mini readings with Jason this Friday evening at 6 p.m. Pacific, 9 p.m. Eastern. Jason is one of my dear friends. He lives in um, Florida. He has his own channel called Ray of Light Tarot. And we are really awesome and such a fun like duo to do mini readings together. So that will be happening on Friday. And we focus tarot and oracle and intuitive readings. I don't do the astrology stuff when I do readings with Jason. But if you want to get on the list, it's $33 sent to my PayPal. I usually have the link always in all of the videos that I do, but you can get on the list early if you want to, or you can get on the list when we go live. It'll be $33 for those readings on Friday. So that's uh, really exciting. And that's everything that I wanted to uh, share with you guys about what's coming up. And can't wait to see you all tomorrow at our Capricorn full moon celebration. So let me say hi to everyone that's here in the chat. Hello, Jill. Welcome in. Hello, Anita. Welcome in. Hello, Dawn. Hello, Raessa. Raven is here as well. Thank you guys for coming in. Nelvin, hello, Ella. Hello. Finally, make it to a live. Love that. Um, Yes. So here we go. We're going to dive into this chart right now and talk about it. And I promise you it is a crazy crazy chart so here it is <clears throat> this is the chart oh thank you Raessa. that is so sweet for posting the link up hello star maps Ooh, what a cool name um so this is the chart of the full moon in capricorn in terms of human design and you can see that it's very like bottom heavy <laughs> like it's got a defined well when you look at it, it looks like all these centers are defined, but really the only two centers that are defined, because when it, when we do a trans, hello, Ariel, when we do a transit reading, we only look at the personality side, not the design side, because this transit doesn't actually have a body and you have to have a body to have a design <laughs> side of your uh, human design. But there is one channel that is defined fully through a conscious energy, and it is activated by the north node and Pluto. North node being on the third gate and Pluto being on the 60th gate. And we'll go over that in a second, why that's significant. But for this specific 
full moon, everyone has the feeling of having a defined sacral and a defined root. And the reason why specifically the root center is really important right now is because the moon, the full moon, is happening on the 38th gate, which is a gate in the root center. And the sun is at the 39th gate, which is another gate in the root center. So this is basically what we're dealing with, like a lot of root center activations. And I wanted to start by talking about what is the root center and what what do we feel when we have a defined root center. So the root center is called, um, it's a pressure center. It's about stress. It has to do with stress, dealing with stress, motivation, instinct, structure. It's the pressure to be free of the pressure, right? When you have a defined root center, you actually have a consistent sense of dealing with stress or a consistent w- way of dealing with stress. You have a consistent sense of pressure and motivation. Um, you have a consistent and available fuel to begin things. You're naturally embodied and consistent. And we may all feel a lot of these qualities right now within ourselves as the transit passes through the sky. This is uh, a center that when defined can be resistant to outside pressure. It has the ability to release and process stress in a very consistent way. It's comfortable with its own needs and stress fuels creative processes. Now, I personally have an undefined root center. So usually if you have the undefined root, you don't have a consistent way of dealing with stress and you often feel the stress of others and stress feels so intense for you, the pressure to, to complete things feels so intense that you try to rush through things because you run it do and you want to do anything to get rid of the pressure. It like really doesn't feel good. But we're gonna stick with just the defined energy because that's what we're focusing on. Like during this time, we actually feel like we have the ability to deal with stress. And I think that this has been a huge part of for me personally the last couple of weeks, being able to stay grounded through a lot of things that have been going on that have been pretty chaotic, observing um, a lot of chaos <laughs> um, <clears throat> in, you know, in my life, not, not personally, because I've been able to, uh, luckily and thankfully, I am not really fully involved in this chaotic situations that have been going on in my life, but they actually... Um, this having just a fine root right now has given me the ability to like process through the stress in a really like good and positive way. So you might be also feeling that as well. If you already have a defined root, well then it's just, this is just energy that becomes a little bit maybe stronger for you or a little bit more focused during this time. <clears throat> yes, it's what's going on for sure. So, um, and that's part of your incarnation cross. Interesting. So this channel that is defined is actually quite a crazy channel. <clears throat> the one that's actually defined right now with North Node and Pluto. North Node being destiny, life path, but also where we feel uncomfortable and where we get taken out outside of our comfort zone. And then Pluto being the planet of death, change and transformation, activating this channel called the channel of mutation. The 360 is the channel of mutation. And with this energy, the reason it, it's crazy is because it's unpredictable. Because mutations happen when they happen and you don't know when they're going to arrive, when things are going to change. So you're just kind of sitting there waiting and then all of a sudden, boom, you know, <clears throat> the black hole opens <laughs> or there's some crazy thing. And so what we're dealing with this channel of mutation is that there's always a chance of something new coming into the world, but the price that we pay for this gift, it's to to actually accept the limitation of not knowing when the next quantum leap is going to come. So it's like some of us may be experiencing quantum leaps already. Some of us may be in that dormant phase What happens in between the quantum leaps is a lot of melancholy, 
This is an individual circuitry <clears throat> channel. And the melancholy comes from um, the having to sit, sit there and sort of wait for what's going to happen. Is anything going to happen? And so you just get like kind of sad and depressed and like, oh God. And it's a very kind of self-absorbed energy because it is individual circuitry. It's like you're in your own zone, you're in your own lane, you're doing your own thing. And then all of a sudden, boom, something happens. This energy is an agent of evolution the 360 people who have this channel defined which is my my niece one of my nieces this is one of her um strong channels that is defined and it's a formatting channel which means that it is one of the three channels that is the strongest energy that will take over all the other energy meaning it'll influence everything else in the chart it's like you format your computer to do certain things and that format remains no matter what you do and that's what this energy is like. So we're being formatted right now by the channel of mutation, right? This energy of mutation. So these are people here to bring radical change into the world. They bring something new to everything they touch and are always under pressure to change the way things are done. These are people who can be totally unpredictable and can at any point suddenly change their whole direction. They force everyone around them to grow and adapt to the changes that they bring. These are auras that engender either innovation and or instability in others. As long as they are responding to life and not jumping according to their wishes of their minds, they can always trust the impact that they have on their environment. These are people who have this definition in their design and are moving from order to chaos and back endlessly. Order to chaos, chaos to order, order to chaos, chaos to order. The fixed on and off pulse energy of this channel will dominate the rest of their design coloring the frequency of all other channels with its innovation and instability. I mean, this, of the, this unpredictable chemistry during this time, we can feel deeply melancholic, but also very creative during those melancholic times. So we can go into dark spaces within ourselves where we feel that we cannot see or understand anything. And that's where the melancholy comes from. And at such times, we can feel very frustrated or stuck as though everything in, in life has stopped dead. These kinds of feelings are natural when this channel is defined and we have to love the dark periods as much as the light because every time they emerge from the darkness, they will emerge, we will emerge as a totally different person. I mean, that's powerful stuff right there. Um, definitely let me know if you guys can hear me okay because my Wi-Fi is kind of doing a funny thing. But let's continue to add to this. So we all have, we all feel like we have a definition in our sacral and definition in our root. Why is the root so important? Because the full moon is happening at the 38th gate and the sun is at the 39th gate during this full moon. So we need to talk about what is the 38th gate. We talked and the 39th, but we talked about the 38th um, a couple of days ago when I did the astrology of the Capricorn full moon and we talked about the 38th gene key, which is, thank you guys for the confirmation, which is the warrior of the light, the city of honor, shadow of struggle. So like moving from struggle to honor. I think it's the gift of, I have it right here. Shadow is struggle. Yeah, perseverance, gift is perseverance, city is honor. And these are the things that this full moon is activating within us. But from the lens of human design, what is the 38th gate? It's literally known as the gate of the fighter. People who are at their best when up against odds. Natural born warriors. Boom. This is my Jupiter. My Jupiter is at this gate. And so the moon is going to be conjunct my Jupiter. This full moon is conjunct my Jupiter, magnifying this energy People who are at their best when up against odds, natural born warriors, right, Ariel? These are people that love a good fight and are always ready to stand up for their independence. This is the pressure to fight against the odds in order to establish a sense of value and purpose in life. This is this full moon. They need to feel a sense of carefreeness in their lives and consequently, these people can feel very depressed if they are not doing something that gives them a sense of of their life being of true value. 
Since the 38 is one of the three gates of deafness, these people can be very stubborn as they are not here by design to be overly influenced by others. This deafness is in fact their protection from compromising their sense of purpose to outside pressure or influence. Without the 28, when we don't have the 28 right now, remember, we only look at the personality, not the design. So I'm talking about when I say right now, I mean like the moon, the full moon. And so we have the 38, but not the 28. So without the 28, so if you don't have the 28, you're going to feel this for this full moon. Without the 28, these people need to be careful not to get locked into a fight with the wrong things or the wrong people and end up wasting their energy and health on something that they do not love. The 28 brings the awareness of what is actually worth fighting for. But if you don't have the awareness of what is worth fighting for, then you're going to be fighting for the wrong shit. So wasting your time. So we have to be careful if, if you don't have the 28. So Raven says she has the 28, which means that she has the whole channel. So what happens if the whole channel is actually defined for you? This is called the gate of the game player, the preponderance of the great, people who are always ready to take risks in order to find meaning in life. So you know what, Raven? You complete, like, you complete the 1-8 for, for, like, we complete the 1-8 together, and then I complete this one for you. You complete this one for me. Yeah. Oh, it's your Pluto and my Jupiter. Boom, baby. <laughs> This is a pop. We're a powerful force to be reckoned with. I'm kidding, but actually, I'm not. <laughs> I always, I do feel a deep connection to you, Raven, and it's it's kind of crazy. And as as we continue like moving through all of these discoveries, I keep understanding why I feel that. Yeah, right. <laughs> What's up, lady? So, anyways, this is actually crazy. So, here's what the twenty eight is. In this gate lies the potential of an individual to know spontaneously what is worth fighting for and what is not. So I'm ready to fight for whatever. And you're like, wait, hold up, hold up. No, we, that's not a good fight. <laughs> I love you too. <laughs> the twins, right? Driven by the fear of life running out, the fear of death. Ooh, these people are ready to take any risks that make them feel more alive. However, as long as they are listening to their intuition and following their strategy, there is no such thing as a risk for them. This is the gate of the need to find purpose in one's life. So this is cool because if the 38 is is the... <laughs> so it's like when we're there, I'm the one wanting to fight and you're like, wait, wait. <laughs> I'm just kidding. We would have been a fun team in high school. <laughs> so... If the 38 is the gate of the fighter and the 28 is the gate of finding purpose, then this is a powerful fucking channel, yo. So this is the gate of the need to find purpose in one's life. Without the 38, these people may go. So this is Raven on a, on a day to day basis. I'm just kidding. Without the 38, these people may go simply flit from one thing to the next in a search for meaning when the 38 is present. There is a possibility of digging one's heels in and finding meaning in one particular thing. So if you have the 28, this channel is defined. So what is the channel called? The channel is called the channel of struggle. A design of stubbornness. <laughs> it would have been one. <laughs> a design of stubbornness. Your life is an archetypal hero's journey against overwhelming odds this is you ariel the goal is to remain yourself and go your own way no matter what anyone else thinks or says Oof. this is also called the channel of turmoil this is the i did it my way mentality these people love a good fight and are here to hone themselves on life they are also here to stand up for themselves and consequently often have to do it alone because this is a projected channel, they need to have people in their lives that allow them to struggle. Whoa, this is really revealing, Ariel. I So Ariel is in level two right now. And everything we've been sharing, I'm just like, dude, I just got chills for you. 
Theirs is a constant struggle between purpose and lack of purpose. The struggle in this channel is deeply individual and is punctuated by unpredictable periods of melancholy. Their fear of time running out drives them to get as much out of life as possible. However, these individuals actually give direction to society and can be an enormous value in empowering others. Their great strength is their stubbornness. They will not give up on something that holds meaning for them. Due to its connection to the spleen, this is a health channel. Wait, this is the channel that makes you a projector? Dude. Okay. Due to its connection to the spleen, this is a health channel. Oh, interesting. These people are always healthiest when pushing themselves. And they usually need to channel their fighting spirit into some form of enlivening, strenuous, strenuous, physical activity dude you guys this is intense this is intense so this is the energy of the moon the full moon on the gate of the fighter so it's like imagine this energy in the collective yo what the heck what the heck is this gonna do right <laughs> collectively like dude so just think about it and then the last one i want to talk about is the sun on the 39, 2644, where's 2644? Oh, so you also have a defined ego. Okay, interesting. Anyway, sorry, sidetracked. Um, 3955 is, so this is where the sun, the sun is on the 39. So does anyone have the 55? because this is this means that this channel will be defined for you otherwise you'll just have the 39 and this is the gate of provocation dude the gate of provocation and the gate of the fighter this this full moon the sun is at the gate of provocation and the moon is at the gate of the fighter provoke the fighter what the wtf right think about this collectively <laughs> People who are here to provoke the spirit of others. People with this gate are here to provoke the emotions of others in order to see the quality of their spirit. Boom. Provocation comes in all kinds of forms. For example, you can even provoke someone by doing nothing. Ooh. Both the 39 and the 55 are gates of indecision. Especially, this is the gate of flirting. Ooh. Essentially, this is the gate of flirting. If these people get a negative reaction to their provocation, then the other person's spirit is not in resonance with theirs. And they have to learn not to take that personally. People with this gate have to learn how to provoke pleasure instead of pain and joy instead of sadness, although actors with this channel use it to good effect. Their success is in eliciting the desired action in someone else is directly dependent on the mood of the 39. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Can you imagine all the people that are in a bad mood right now? <laughs> with, this, with this full moon, <laughs> they're going to provoke some gnarly shit. Dude, I think we might want to stay home for this one. In other words, <laughs> if they are in a bad mood, they can provoke misery in others and often without even meaning to. This is the gate of deafness. Like all individuals, these people are reluctant to be influenced by others. However, the 39 needs the 55 in the form of someone to provoke so it can work out what it is feeling. When you provoke someone else's emotions, it also shows you what your own spirit is feeling. 39s are always looking for someone to fall in love with. Ooh, hello, Kim. This is intense. At, as a root gate, these people have specific coping strategies for dealing with stress. <laughs> the police are going to be busy. <laughs> more often than not these strategies are rooted in food consumption uh oh in other words they often try to deal with stress by eating or not eating oh whoa that is so interesting like eating disorders are like connected to a gate that's crazy anyways that's if you if you the 39 that's the that's the sun on the 39 right now right for the full moon right but then the one that it connects us is the 55 which is the gate of the spirit. So anyone have anyone have the 55? 
I'm curious as to see if anyone has this channel. It's called the channel of emoting. So the 55, people who are deeply melancholic, musical, and or romantic and must honor their moods at all costs. I think, I think, um, oh, I can't remember. I think Dawn does, but I can't remember. This gate measures emotional highs and lows. So it's on the solar plexus. So it's emotional. And people who have it defined are always looking for that perfect emotional state, whether it be peace, love, or ecstasy. 55s are literally waiting to be provoked by 39s in order to know what they are feeling. If their emotional wave is up, then they feel at home within themselves. If it is down, then they feel melancholic. Their cup is always neither half full or half empty. These people need to let go of trying to rationalize and control their moods. Above all, they must learn not to make up reasons for their emotional chemistry. If they wait out the emotional wave, they will always have a clear perception of any situation. So the channel of emoting, have that channel on my moon. So the channel of emoting is called a design of moodiness. So on top of it, on top of it, we're going to have moody people who are going to be provoking each other to fight. <laughs> And then people who are going to be like, yeah, we're going to fight for this because this means a lot to me. And then like, boom. I mean, this could be like, what do they call it? Like beautiful chaos, you know? Dude, like what's going on in France though? Dude. Okay. The secret, if you have the channel, the secret to your life is to learn to appreciate the lows as much as you love the highs when you can let go of wanting to control love, only then will you experience the freedom you seek. This is a channel of stimulation. These people are here to embrace the lesson that life comes, comes with both highs and lows and to accept the endless cycles of sadness and joy. This is the channel of being happy or sad, of riding the emotional wave or tapping into the tremendous creativity that can come from the emotions and in particular, the low end of the spectrum. It is important to remember that an emotion has to be provoked from outside, whereas a feeling arises from within. These, are peop these people need to be able to accept melancholy rather than trying to rationalize it or make an enemy of it. They need to enjoy being alone when they are feeling down as much as they enjoy being with others when they are feeling high. The emotional wave in this channel is prone to the pulsing energy of mutation, which which is the channel of mutation is also activated. Holy shit. Which can seem very calm until it suddenly spikes up or spikes down. Ooh, Because of this, these people can appear very calm for long periods, but may also experience sudden unexpected mood swings. This can even be measured in terms of years. This is a deeply romantic acoustic channel with a great sensitivity to music these people need to talk and listen to each other, <laughs> which is not exactly the energy that's allowing that to happen, right? They love to act out their moods and express their feelings. And because of this, they can make natural actors, musicians, poets, and artists of all kinds. So we have the sun at the gate of provocation, the moon at the gate of the fighter, and Pluto and the North Node activating the channel of mutation. <laughs> So collectively, we're about to take some fucking crazy ass, epic, quantum, mutative leap or not. Because <laughs> you, you always have a 50-50 chance, you know? Human design is hilarious. It's always like, it's the gate of like death or not. <laughs> so anyways, that's what we're, <laughs> that's what we're dealing with here right about this time with this full moon in Capricorn. So yeah, I think I'm going to be choosing to stay home. <laughs> Dude, it's the 4th of July with the fireworks and stuff coming up. Yeah, it's going to be an interesting one. Everybody take a chill pill. <laughs> Anita says, wild, got the 39 and been reflecting on the past week on how I provoke others that I meant to, and it's not a bad thing. Interest, right? Isn't it crazy how human design also helps us to be okay with our shadows, <laughs> which what seems like shadows, but they're actually, they're actually good. Um, 
No wonder I just blew up and threw something at the wall. I normally have this side of me under control, but I exploded today. Ooh, yep, yep. It's going to be a crazy next couple of days. Oh, I'm a stress eater 100%. So am I, but I don't have the 39. Well, what do I have? Actually, let me look, <laughs> let me look at it because no, I don't have the 39. Um, but anyways... Yeah. Yeah, buckle up. I just put myself in timeout and it's just the beginning. <laughs> so, yes, we need to be really aware of, of our actions right now because we're like, we can be provoked easily. We can provoke others right now. We can fight, you know, for, for no reason at all. Because remember, the other two sides are not technically defined. And unless you have the 28 or the 55, you're just, you just have the provoking and the fighting energy turned on, but not the purpose to channel it in the right way, you know? So yeah, hermit mode <laughs> for this full moon. <laughs> oh, I love how sometimes this is so hilarious to me, how we can look at this and it just like cracks me up. So, but that's literally what, what's up. <laughs> that's what's up for this full moon. So, in the, so the, the gene keys brings this like really flowery, beautiful thing where like we're moving from the shadow of struggle to the gift of perseverance, but it's like about finding purpose. So I think the best thing that we can do right now when we feel provoked or any of these like moods come up and we're going through these crazy experiences or you know, um, trying to, to find purpose is that's what we have to look for is can you find purpose? You know, can you find purpose channel, like channel the energy that you're feeling for good, right? For something purposeful for you. And when I say purposeful, I mean, does it have meaning? What's the meaning behind this? If there's no meaning, then don't do it. You know, um, I dodged it earlier. I was like, it's the energy of this moon before knowing. Oh, yeah, yeah. So that's where we're at. And um, that's what we're going to deal with. So tomorrow night, we are going to celebrate uh, in the global community. So please come join us. Um, we are going to be going live at 6 p.m. Pacific, 9 p.m. Eastern in Zoom meeting. And the link is provided for within the community at, on in the events tab. You can find all of the events that you're a part of. And this community is also where I house all of my courses. I'm working on getting level two up and running for those of you that finish level one and are ready to do the self-study course level two. Um, I'm really excited about the transition. So I feel like I can't go fast enough. You know, I really want to just get it up and running and I have to like have patience with myself, uh, because it takes time to like film all the videos and stuff. So, um, excited for this energy actually, to be honest with you, I feel like this is fun. Um, might be a fun show that we're going to be watching this weekend collectively or not, <laughs> or not fun. Right. But I think that this moon also being in Capricorn is about determination. So it's like fight for what you believe in, you know, find a purpose for why you are fighting. Don't just fight for nothing. You know, don't have a reason, have a purpose, have a meaning behind why are you fighting? You know, you got to be a warrior of the light, not a warrior of the darkness. Although sometimes you got to fight the darkness, you know, to like enter into the light or to illuminate the light. We got to, you know, Archangel Michael, I was reminded of this, but the Leo King the other day, Archangel Michael always has his foot on the, on, um, on the devil, right? He always has to have his foot on, um, well, the word's not coming to me. Um, Lucifer, because he can't keep his, he can't take his guard, you know, you can't take your guard down kind of a thing, but have purpose, find purpose, be determined about something in your life this is capricorn energy so we'll see how it goes and i will see you on the other side remember if you just came in i announced in the beginning i'm doing a special offer if you purchase your human design map this week and from now until friday i will give you a free 30 minute session to go over your human design booklet or map and ask questions about your human design so a free 30 minute session when you purchase your human design map. And I'm really excited to do those. Um, 
And yes, Satnam. And I'll see you guys tomorrow night in the global community. Peace.